if you really think about it, this is actually a crazy good idea. Well, the developer Cloud Imperium Games just announced another highly overpriced ship bundle for $48,000 that you can only buy if you've already spent a certain amount of money in the game. The bundle is called the Legatus 2953, I don't know if I'm saying that right, pack, and the item page reads, ahead of all others, this definitive armada is an equal match to the noble title of Legatus Navium. Comprised of over 175 vessels from every manufacturer of note, this perfect collection, including all ships released and concepted through 2953, empowers every fleet commander to forge a lasting legacy, leading humanity towards a brighter future. Because if people have already been spending money with you, then they're going to want to spend more money with you. It's kind of like a play on the... It's kind of like a play... A trick... It's, it's kind of like a trick on, on the mind, really, almost. Because the people that have already spent money on the game believe in the game. So, therefore, they're going to want to spend more money on the game to believe in it even more and get it over the hump. Because apparently it's been stuck in alpha for I don't even know how long. This game is charging players $50,000 for DLC. And people are actually buying it. Now, for context, this is a game that has been in early access and ongoing development for over 10 years. It has a massive community behind it. And even though it had its fair share of controversy over the last decade, it's overall in a great state and is probably the most advanced and overall important impressive game on the market. Of course, I'm talking about Star Citizen, a massively multiplayer space exploration simulation game that is known for its nearly unlimited world, stunning visuals, and incredibly immersive universe. Now, they've been known to offer exclusive in-game items for purchase at pretty insane prices, ranging from $25 up to a few hundred dollars. But they just pulled off the unthinkable. For $48,000, players can purchase the Legatus 2953 pack, which is a bundle containing 175 ships, which is all of the ships released in the game to date. But believe it or not, it actually gets even worse. This pack is only available to members of the Chairman's Club, which requires you to have spent at least $10,000 to even be a member of, raising the effective price of this bundle to $58,000, which is $331 per ship. This is this is insane. I, you know, and... Not everyone's going to spend this kind of money, right? And my question, my real question here is, who the hell is spending 10000 Because that's the minimum. You have to spend like $10,000 on the game already on Star Citizens to be able to actually get access to this bundle, right? The, 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 there's, the ships are awesome. They're customizable. Like this is, this is like digital NFTs at its finest, this game. This is what this is. What I just, what I don't understand, how, who, where are these players coming from, right? Like who, who are these players and how do they have so much money to spend? And why would they want to spend that much money? Like, are they like tech giants? Like, are they just, do they create tech companies and sell them? Like, or do they just have like a bunch of dividend investments that they just don't care? Like, what is, where is the, the, the source of money coming from? That's my question here. I think that this is a great idea for the people that it's working for. It's not available to, 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 to the public. It's not preying on poor people. It's people that can afford these types of things, which really in reality Where's the complaining, right? Like, where do we have the right to complain about this? Because at the end of the day, again, these people can afford it. There's no, nobody like that that can't f buy bread or fucking water at the grocery store is going to be buying a, a $58,000 DLC, right? So I just want to say that as, as a, like, a asterisk behind it. Like, there's really nothing we should be complaining about here. It's a little insane. There might be some things going on behind closed doors that we don't really know about. But at the end of the day, why are we complaining about something that like isn't really preying on certain people? These people already spent a certain amount of money on the game. Now they want to spend more. If they have the money, I don't care. Like I'm not going to really complain about this. Good for them. Good for the developers. I, I hope that this game go comes out from alpha. Maybe, right? But if they're going to release this to the general public... Most people that play video games are not going to be able to afford it. Let's be honest. We've been playing Warzone and we've gotten spoiled for a very long time. And, you know, Apex and Fortnite. And we're getting used to like $10 skins and a free game that I could just open up and play whenever the hell I, how, how I want without having to spend any money. So, 